There are very few second chances in this life. Just like a professional football player who, after retirement, is just incapable of scoring the touchdowns like he used to. Or as parents, as we consider how quickly our children grew up and the mistakes we made, maybe lots of mistakes. But being a grandparent, there's something beautiful about getting that second chance to right those wrongs. Someone wisely said that being a grandmother or grandfather is a little bit teacher, a little bit parent, and a little bit best friend. Join me today as I cherish those second chances with my grandsons. I'm Don, and this is Living on the Apex. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to Dinosaur National Monument. We're going to do some dispersed camping. We're going to play with a, a rock crawler RC truck that we got. And we're just going to have a blast. And I'm going to tell you a few stories. So stick and around. And whatever Harry just said. So this is going to be an adventure. This is amazing. He's got so many dead windows on my bug. Huge. That's awesome. There's some more right here, guys. Oh, here's a Henry. This is a big one. I don't know what it is about boys and dinosaurs. My oldest grandson, a while back, I was talking to him, and I said, man, you're going to be a preacher one day. He said, no, Grandpa, I'm going to be a paleontologist. Well, anyway, we had a great time at Dinosaur National Monument. We had to kind of hurry through it because they had some really strict rules about dogs, and, and we brought Lady Bell along with us, so we had to kind of rush through it, but that's okay. We got out there and started searching for a free campsite on public lands, and we weren't sure what we were going to find. We had no plans. But while we were driving down the road, we happened upon a gate that went into a ranch. But they had a sign there allowing public access. And so as we started driving into this beautiful canyon, we happened upon some amazing Native American petroglyphs. And my grandsons were excited. Wow, we're, we're out here trying to find a camping spot. And we found ancient Indian petroglyphs, Native American petroglyphs. This place is so cool. Indian art? Whoa. This is Indian art. Isn't that cool? All of this stuff is Indians? After exploring those petroglyphs, we headed back up this spectacular canyon and it began to start climbing upward along the cliffs and I was beginning to get a little bit concerned as I didn't know the road very well and I was afraid my daughter would kill me if she saw it, but the boys were having a blast and the Jeep is fully capable of getting up there and my grandson, the oldest one, saw some deer. What the heck is that? Is that deer, deer! Oh, dude! Deer, right there! Oh, wow! Oh, what the heck? Oh, that's a deer! All right, well, we got our campsite. I'm going to listen to my grandsons. I really want to drive to the top of this rocky outcropping on top of a hill. It's pretty safe, but they're scared and a uh, little disappointed, but that's okay. We got to keep them happy and be safe. But anyway, we have an amazing location. I want you to see where you're not supposed to go. Watch out, there's cactuses. Okay, that's as far as we're going. Okay, let's go. It looks like a river used to You wanna, it does.
It's okay. Well, let's see. I can give you a thousand reasons why not to. Gravity is one reason. Number two, we're a long ways away from a hospital in case you crack your head open. As you can see, my two out of a thousand reasons didn't really convince my grandsons not to run down the hill, but we sure had a wonderful sight. It was like three or four football fields of a petrified sand dune that was absolutely perfect for the kiddos. So we decided to start setting up camp and you're gonna find out it was interrupted. Harry's got a sticker on his foot. Harry's got a sticker on his foot. Oh man, Harry, how did you get that on there, dude? I don't know. Oh, dude. Is it in your skin or just on your pants? It is going in. Ow. I'm going to reach over. Where'd you walk? Don't move. Got it. What in the world are you doing, dude? Ouch! Let's stay away from these, okay? Couldn't ask for a more beautiful day. 70 degrees out. Here it is October 6th or 7th and it's just amazing. That's the most I've seen. 80 watts using my solar panel. It's a 100 watt solar panel but you never see it that high. Boy, beautiful clear day. Good thing that's not full, huh Harry? Good job, they're helping me set up. Grandpa has the best snacks, huh boys? We got the best snacks. Ritz, handy snacks. Crackers and cheese, huh boys? Oh yeah, we got caramel coconut. And Lady Bell wants some too. All right, I'm gonna ask my grandsons a couple really important questions that I think a lot of people maybe just take for granted, but I think it's pretty important when you're out camping, doing overlanding with family, especially young, young children, that they kind of have an emergency plan. They know what to do in an emergency. So I'm gonna ask a couple questions. You guys are gonna hear this live. Let's go ahead and do it. Question is, if something happened to grandpa, let's say grandpa got really sick and passed out, what would you do? I'll walk down the road and ask for help if I see a buddy. What about you, Harry? I would do the same thing. So you guys are saying you would walk down the road to look for help. Mm -hmm. Guess what? what? That's a bad choice. It may seem like a good choice, but a bad choice. Absolutely. What you should always do in a situation like this we're near a road, right? We saw people drive by in four-wheelers, right? Mm -hmm. You should stay where you're at. We have food, right? You have a place to sleep, and there's a road here. And all you have to do is wait for someone to drive by, okay? 
because you have enough food here to last a very long time. You should never leave your location, all right? Number two, guys, my cell phone is working here. You could use my cell phone. I'm going to show you how to unlock it, okay? All right. Let me show you how to unlock it. You know, they, they gave an answer that seems like it's a good idea, but, you know, and a seven-year-old, how old are you now? Seven-year-old seven and a five-year-old walking down no, a dirt I'm road. Six Wait, you're six? What? Anyway. Yeah. I think, anyway, I'm, I'm going to show them how to unlock my phone because I think that's a pretty important thing to learn how to do. Dinner time. It's time to start cooking. We're doing grilled cheese and ham sandwiches on a griddle, and it is going to be good. I'm looking forward to it. I think the kids are hungry. They're having a blast with the RC truck. But it is time to eat. What's that smell? This is perfect, guys. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Do we thank God for the food? Mm -mm. Let's do it. And they said, mm -mm. I know. Let's pray. Father, thank you for the great day, for the good food, for safety, and just the awesome time we've had. I want more after this. Bless the food in Jesus' name. Amen. I want more of Dude, this after. I'm talking to God. Why are you cutting me off, man? Can I have more of this after? Papa? Yeah. This is good. There it is. Look. <laughs> we decided to hike up on this hill above our campsite just to get a better view. We probably could have camped up here, but there's a lot of sand. Might have been a little sketchy. Don't want to bury the Jeep in sand. But the views are unbelievable of Split Canyon. That is the most epic looking bunch of pile of rocks I've ever seen, huh? It's coming. Well, I can't see him. Papa, look. He's gone. He's gone. Chill, dude. If you can. You ready? You gotta go at an angle. Oh, that was that big. As the sun sets on this incredible day, you can't help but think about how quickly life flies by. It just seems like just seconds ago we were getting up and driving to Dinosaur National Monument. And I was hearing over and over again, are we there yet, Grandpa? Are we there yet, Grandpa? But man, as I look back as a father, raising three incredibly wonderful kids, they have blessed us in so many ways, but their lives have just flown by in my eyes. And I'm so thankful my wife is back east right now, spending precious time with two of our other grandsons. And I'm here with these two, and I hope to get all four of them together one time to just continue to just build these lasting memories together. Boy, if there's one thing I can just, if I can leave with any of you that's watching this video today, is the Bible says life is but a vapor. It's here and it's gone. Man, we need to cherish every moment of it and really get our priorities straight. I'm thankful for this time. Be epic! I was really proud of Henry. He started this fire all by himself with a ferro rod, and he's tried to do it before and just worked so hard at it but never was able to get it done. 
but tonight he sure did. Oh, uh, I got messed up too. You need to be bigger. You guys hear that? What? You're the owl? Yeah. What are we doing? Are we watching the movie, boys? Yeah. But look. I know, I paused the movie. Why? We're in Dinosaur National Monument. We're watching Jurassic Park, baby. This has been one overlanding adventure I will never forget. And boy, the location, the scenery, the boys, everything about it was absolutely perfect. And you know, I think more people need to just get out and enjoy life and God's creation and, and one another. And we were seeing more and more people out and about enjoying nature and just the national parks and things. I see families getting out. But I still feel like in the world of ours, we just have so much tension, so much stress. And, and I really don't understand it. We have so many ways to just get away sometimes and just relax. But people are just so on edge. And it's so nice sometimes to just break away from the busyness of life and the trials and tribulations that come our way and just get away with a couple little boys and just look at life and enjoy life through their eyes, experiencing things as if they're brand new all over again. Wow, I, if our world did more of that, wow, I think it'd be a different place. I am so thankful and I cherish this second chance I've had with my grandkids to not only be a little bit parent, a little bit teacher, and a little bit friend, as I consider what can I leave to my grandkids when I'm gone. I'm not thinking about the Jeep or the toys or the tools or the things that I've somehow hoarded in this life, but I hope the greatest thing I can leave for them is my faith. It's the faith that their grandmother has, their great-grandparents have, and thank the Lord, even their parents have. I think that's the greatest thing we can leave our kids because I really believe that that is the only thing that's gonna change this world. It's gonna bring the peace and the hope that this world so desperately needs. What a wonderful trip. I hope this has been a blessing to you. It's sure been a blessing to me. And may you have a wonderful day. We have a little bonus video for you guys because one of the questions my grandsons kept asking me the whole time we were out was, when are we going to see grandma or when's grandma getting back? Well, grandma made it back and we instantly went out on an expedition to explore these local hobbit caves, they're called. And man, the grandsons just enjoyed being with their grandmother probably more so than with me, but it was a beautiful location with a beautiful waterfall. And, and then at the very end of this video, I have a little clip to show you of my grandsons watching The Empire Strikes Back and that epic scene with Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker. I was eight years old when I watched that scene and it blew me away. And I had to wait three years to figure out if Darth Vader was telling the truth. Well, anyway, I'll let you watch it for yourself. It's pretty good. Wait for Grandpa. Wait, let Grandpa go. No, Grandma, there's another one. Oh. Wait, I can't let you do it. Oh. No. Oh, this?
Wow, it's huge. Yeah, where's the pair? No. I am the Yeah, but was he his father though? No! That was his real father? No! It is? You can destroy the Emperor. He has foreseen.